Oh, that oil is hot. Sorry. Dirty South mom blowing dirty South bread. Catfish fried up, dirty South fed. That soft, ludicrous track, Southern Hospitality. We're gonna bring a line to life. I'm from New York, but I know about Southern Hospitality. When you put me in the kitchen with some grease and some catfish, I automatically become from the South. That's what we're about to do right now. I'm gonna give you two different options. I'm gonna give you the health conscious option. We're gonna make one in the air fryer. We're gonna make the other in the cast iron skillet, the way that it was done for 5,000 years. First things first, we're gonna dip our catfish in egg to make sure all the other ingredients stick. We're gonna double bread them. First, we're just gonna make a seasoned flour, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, a little cayenne pepper, sea salt. We have exhibits A and B. Now for exhibit C. Cajun crispy fish fry. Tennessee catfish. In my opinion, what makes catfish so good is what's allegedly makes it so bad. People try to say catfish is a bottom feeder. It eats things from the bottom of the ocean. Where's all the buried treasure at? All the good things fall to the bottom. So the catfish eats the buried treasure and then we eat the catfish. So it's like when you have a catfish sandwich at the end, your little stomach is filled with treasure. Now that these are breaded, what are we gonna do? We're gonna re-dip them and re-bread them. At the time when Luda dropped, I was strictly like, I was almost East Coast biased. Like I only listened to like New York rap. And then when Luda came through with that album, I was like, yo, this is, this is just undeniable. It's different, I had to love it, I had to embrace it. And now I'm making catfish. Shout out to you. Oh, that oil is hot. You're gonna let these sit for about three minutes. Make sure they're golden brown. That's really all that you need. Flip that real quick. Damn, I kind of burned it. Shit. We're not gonna show this side. Damn, those look, those look perfect. So, you know, I had an idea to make two versions of this. One deep fried, one with the air fryer. These just came out so amazingly crispy and perfect. I think I'm just gonna stick to tradition. Let's get this air fryer out of here. Gonna make a little topping for these. So we're gonna put a little avocado oil down. I'm gonna drop these onions right in it. Put these with some sea salt, some ground mustard seed, some cayenne. And we're gonna add a little splash of red wine vinegar. So I just kinda wanna give you like a, a vinegary, mustardy onion topping, you know what I mean? I'm looking for a certain color. I'm looking for a certain texture, a certain aroma. Wow. At this point, you could just turn them off, let them cook down. The, the pot is still hot, they'll still cook a little bit. Is the oven on? The oven's on. Nah, it's a, it's a new day, it's a new show. I preheat the oven on this show. Put a little dollop of Irish butter on it. What, just? Butter. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you? Well, well, I dropped that. I guess it's not the best method now, is it? Babe, we're gonna heat this bread in here for around one minute. Party time, ready to go. Look at that, it looks so amazing, I don't even wanna eat it. I'll just leave them open faced. They're so beautiful, you need to look them in the eyes. Yo, have you ever seen mustard pickled onions on top of catfish ever? Nah, that's why you tune into this channel. Oh God, I just invented a catfish dance. Best bottom feeder money you could buy. Yo, Luda, thank you for the song. Thank you for the line. Thank you for the inspiration behind the catfish. This is crazy. Crazy. Crazy.